Hey everybody, it's Ray, it's Life and Vibe, and I had to keep responding to our friend Sarasota Tim today because he has gone into some sort of video mode that is just out of control. He has released nine videos today so far, nine videos. He obviously looked at his income from YouTube for the month of June and realized he better get cracking because those golf videos have not been necessarily bringing him enough money. I cannot believe he put out nine videos. Well, we're going to respond to every single one of them and I'm going to end up putting out probably nine or 10 videos. So let's just get started. Let me get my fair use out because we know that I'm going to be using litigious Tim's content today and we want to make sure that he understands it's fair use and it is uh, for entertainment purposes only. And as I always like to say that these are my opinions and my opinions only. And though I'm a registered nurse trained to be a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner, I'm not treating or diagnosing this gentleman at all. And gentleman is a word that I use lightly with this scoundrel. So anyway, let me bring me small. Let me bring me him big unfortunately. And let's just look at the amount of nonsense. And then at the very end, we'll see that he's managed to garner about $40 in coffee donations in the last day. Part of which somebody sent him money to buy some lidocaine patches. So what have you been out doing today, Tim? Because we know you love to do this, mate. What have you been out doing? Tell me all about it. No, no. I simply asked. I said, I wish I could have this dry bag. Well, I mean, how do you know what that is? Oh, and it's it, it's hard today. It's hard because, you know, he, he's got it going on today. And it, you know what? If you really want to help out a grad student who's trained to be a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner and give it to somebody who's actually cared for people for over a decade as an RN, then I have my coffee uh, scan up there and I would like to match and go head to head. I wish I could make a donation to some great charity, but I am my charity at the moment, I'm sad to say. <laughs> Grad school's very expensive. <laughs> but I've actually saved lives, Tim. What about you? Oh, that's right. You just pretend that you're a first responder. You pretend that you were in the military because you would be prepared to lie in order to get a discount at the Enterprise Rental Call. And you know what? I don't have a lot to say about that other than this. Confidence tricks to noun British a person who tricks other people in order to get their money, con artist. Yeah, that's right. Let her say it for me, Tim. Let her say it for me. All right. So the, we already covered his preaching this morning. So let's watch him do some more unsafe driving. Goodness me. I wish there was somebody who was a Utah state trooper who might address this gentleman and all the stuff in his car. All right. So he's going to... He's going to, you know, talk, talk us, talk us to death in a minute. Let me go back. For some reason, this video does not want to go back on me. All right. Hey, oh, no, don't start yet, Tim. I got to speed you up to 1.25, mate. I can't take you at normal speed. I just can't take you at normal speed. <laughs> All right. And we're just going to react to every single one. I might not even say much. This is long. So I'm just going to let him play. And, oh, just to give you a heads up. Um, might as well get a, like a little, um, you know, if you want to play a drinking game along with it, <laughs> drink of your choice. Uh, every time he says the word coffee, take a drink. I promise you, you'll be drunk at the end of this 25 minutes. Cause he says it 13 times, 13 times. You think it's subliminal? Potentially. You're going 98, Sarasota Tim. Oh my God. Mm. I just told Jess in here at the Shell Station. I'm um, in New Harmony. I got the um, the coffee. I got the I don't know whatever the high octane is. She recommended it yesterday. Uh, what a classic! Tim is is talking to us from a, from, a, from a petrol station. Huh? Oh, just always getting the best views of every place. Uh, oh, he, he's on his he's on a roll today. It's Walmart. It's McDonald's. It's gas stations. I'm surprised we haven't seen yet a crushing it for Christ. Hey, it's a new flavor she said she got for all the Europeans and the tourists that come in. They like a strong coffee. Let's try it out. Oh, I put the um, Splenda in there and that powdered cream. She's got a machine. You just press the button. You got to watch out for that Splenda. It comes out quick. Yesterday, I had to pour some of the coffee out and pour more coffee in 
uh, to make it, you know, not too sweet. But I got it just right today. And I knew what I was doing. And then you can hold it over and push this button and powdered creamer comes out. It just shoots it out. I love how coffee tastes. It doesn't make your coffee cold either. You said you're going to try it out? Mm, Tim, just give you a heads up. I had somebody uh, let me know today they unsubscribed from you, Flim Flammer. Oh, I said, yeah, on your recommendation. So that one yesterday was best cup of coffee I've drank in my life. She says, well, I hope you like this one. So well, let me try it. I told her that's the best cup of coffee I've ever drank in my life. She said, I can't believe you. You said that yesterday. <laughs> she already knows. I said, but I'm telling you, it's the best cup of coffee I've ever drank in my life. It's just, it's irritating. It maybe it's it's nice the first time or cute the first time, but every single time, well, I can promise you it's not the best cup of coffee for your kidneys. But hey, I guess if you get kidney stones, you you know you can blame a doctor for that too. Hey, I want to feel better than I've ever felt in my life. I seriously need you prayer warriors out there to help me. <laughs> mm. I don't want to cry and complain. Yes, you're crying and you're complaining and people are sending you money. And that's why you're out here doing what you're doing. Okay. Because this it's it, uh, uh, Judge Math is going to have to come in again, Tim, because I, I just can't no, say it. I simply asked. I said, I wish I could have this dry bagot. Well, I mean, how do you know what that is? Yeah, uh, he's been doing a lot of it. He, it's hard today, you know. He's he's on a roll and religious manipulation, asking for prayers. Oh, let's let's let him go. I don't want this to be an hour. But I want to tell you right now, <laughs> I'm I'm in so much pain. I'm putting on a smile, but I'm I am in. So you're not in pain because you're driving. I promise you. I've worked with patients who seriously have pain. And I promise you, they're not getting out of bed. So please stop with your twaddle. So much pain right now. I get out of this truck and I, I hit the ground and it jars my my back and I can't get erect. I can't get straight up. Um, it's 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 bad. It's bad. So Miss T sent me a picture of the. Icy hot rub. I'm going to buy the largest tube. I might get two of them. As soon as I get to Hurricane, I'm getting off. Going to Walmart. It's not going to do anything that icy hot. But, you know, why don't you just pop some Advil and like Tic Tacs and, you know, just rub a bunch of icy hot on you. Yeah, that sounds like a real plan. I'm going to go past the RV park that we videoed yesterday. Free Thank medical you for all the, advice. the views, folks, and the comments. And, and uh, you're not paying for my uh, college degree, Tim, so <laughs> not the one I previously taken. Maybe the one I'm due to take since I'm in grad school and popping out so much content along with you has increased my viewership and helps my revenue. So, yeah, and I'm sure my audience is going to be sick of seeing so many of your videos today, but I feel like I need to go head to toe with you on this one. Head to head, sorry. Head to toe. Sorry. Thinking of physical assessments. I would not want to physically assess him everything would you please uh, check your subscription for me and make sure you are subscribed if you're not subscribed and you're watching my channel i would ask you please to consider subscribing we got some pretty good stuff on here we got a great community it's fun to check in see what the heck we got going on the youtube yeah such a great community tim when you don't like your comments you actually delete them even if it's somebody trying to give you a recommendation if you don't like it you delete it I actually pin the comments that your subs leave on my channel and they're real pleasant. Go take a look, everybody, at the nice uh, Christian things that his subs leave on my channel. Real pleasant, real pleasant. A lot of decorum, really Here, nice people. Each day, it's, 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 um, sometimes we get into a little bit of a, of a golfing thing or this or that, uh, but don't trail off on me. We have got all kinds of good content coming. Let me give you a little sneak peek. In just a few days, I'm going to be driving. And I'm going to drive through that. Gorgeous and once again, here he is. He got coffee in hand. I, at some point, he was putting the seatbelt on. He's, you know, every time you hear it beep, that means he crossed the lane. He has not disabled that, so it's going to come up continuously. And he supposedly has a bad back, but and all this stuff in the back of his car. So 
he can't see out the back. And I don't know if that's to obscure the fact that he's got a camera going that he talks to the entire time. You're not in that much pain if you're able to hold a coffee in your hand and talk to your uh, supposed audience. You're not in that much pain, Tim. I'm sorry. Orge again, the other way, the Virgin, uh, Virgin um, something river, Virgin River Gorge. And I know pain is subjective, so I do want to be fair. But usually if I've seen people with cancer. So I worked in oncology. So is your pain anywhere near their type of pain? I doubt it highly. You know, just a flim flammer. And uh, we're going to be going to Vegas, baby, Vegas. I want to play golf Sunday, but I don't know. I'm going to be checking into my room and I'll be there way early. I'm just, he's flying in on an airplane. I'm going to the airport. going to pick her up. We got us a room. We're going to go out and eat. We're going to go out and eat all of our meals probably for the next foreseeable future till we get back uh, to New Harmony here in Utah. When she arrives, she'll never see this place and uh, know anything about it until um, we get through traveling around California. We got videos coming to you for San Diego, Laguna Beach, Newport Ooh. Beach, Temecula. Uh, we're going to meet uh, California. Do you owe back child support in California? Curious. Steve and his wife, and if they want to be on video, fine. If not, uh, we respect everybody uh, that doesn't necessarily want to be um, in a video. But we're also going to meet some other subscribers. I'll be reaching out once I know where I'm at over there. But, uh, Please consider uh, hitting this, the subscribe button. We're, we're trying to get to 1 million subscribers. I want to get that gold plaque. And uh, a million? <laughs> You're not even going to make it to 100K. Your subs numbers are actually dropping. I just showed that on the live stream last night. You're losing subs. Not a lot, but you're losing. You're not gained anything. Wear it around my neck. <laughs> you know, they got a diamond one that's for, um, I think, 10 million, and some other one I read for 100 million. Yeah, good luck. Well, let's just get, <laughs> let's just get the 100,000, the silver one. Let's just get it. We're right there. We're right there. No, you're like almost 40,000 shots. What's that racket? <laughs> I heard somebody beeping something. That's you. That's you crossing what the What a lane. beautiful drive. The only thing that can make things better is a, a new back, a miracle. And I believe in miracles. This is also the best cup of coffee I've ever drank in my life. Worn out tagline. I'm so happy I didn't have to drive all the way up to uh, Sinclair Gas Station and back. It's about eight miles up there. Now, I will say, I was very disappointed this morning when I pulled into Shell. I thought I'd mm. maybe top off the tank. I got a half. Trying to think of this through a clinical lens without feeling superiorly irritated by him today. I'm very, he's, he's a little irritating today. And he's already sorted out with using religion to manipulate people. And I'm not a fan of that. I'm not a fan of any type of manipulation. And especially, at just continue because. Okay. I got plenty wow. of What the oh, heck, God. Five four eighty nine or some nut nutbag price. What for gas in Utah? I'm paying three thirty nine, three thirty six up in Senior City. So I'll check it out in Hurricane and uh, even St. George. Mm. And I'll top her off today. Mm, Tim, I can't. Uh, you know, every time you talk about money, sweetheart, this is what I think is going on every no, no. time. I simply asked. I said, I wish I could have this dry bag. Well, I mean, how do you know what that is? My goodness, Judge Mathis is going to be tired today, Tim. I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> Ooh, dog. I also need to get up to uh, the, uh, the car rental place in Senior City and talk to them. Make sure they got me hooked up. Mm. I'm hooked up, but. Well, we already spoke about the fact that he lies about his status of work. He tries to use other people's professions and say that he, he's prepared to lie just to get a discount. 
This is the good Christian person that he is. Just a stellar human being with so many good characteristics. I I can't ever but only speculate, but I'm thinking he's definitely potentially hanging in the dark triad. I need to look more into that, but I know he's definitely a, 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 a little bit of oh, a flim flammer is my latest word. I know it's polite, but I need to be polite and professional. I promise you, the words I want to use would be kidding me off of YouTube for him, and they're not professional. Um, and I'm trying to, like I said, kind of stand back and look at it and just try to call out why he's so problematic. But it is wild today. I haven't heard from him. What a beautiful, let's turn it around, show you one more time what we got going on. There it is. Check it out. Woo, isn't that beautiful? Concentrate on the road. Oh, 48 degrees this morning. Uh, looking at 58 to 60 every morning for the foreseeable <laughs> future. Uh, but I'll be out of here enjoying that same temperature in California uh, with daytime highs only around 70 to 75, maybe 78 inland or whatever. And it really saddens me that I potentially may have to eschew a golf, which that'll be all right. Um, Miss T loves riding around on the cart, and I wanted to see those views of these beautiful golf courses. You see stuff like this, and then you know you're on the fairways, these gorgeous green fairways. Um, but we've got time uh, to do that in St. George and Hurricane and um, Senior City, even at the uh, Cedar Ridge Golf Club. It's a nice little muni course. But uh, I don't know uh, where our travels are going to take us if we uh, buy another month's rent, uh, go on up to Colorado, Idaho. We definitely don't want to, you know, just, I mean, as much as I love it here, I, 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 it's like the old story when we used to go fishing uh, in Florida, we would be wearing them. My question is, Tim, are you not in Florida and, and you do not have any type of permanent home address at this moment in time? Because I'd be curious to know what you're stating as your home address. Because you didn't own a property in Florida. You don't have family in Florida. So what are you using as your home address? Are you out of Florida so that nobody could follow up with your potentially falsely acquired EIDL loan? It's just interesting that you left Florida. And I'm just curious, do you have any type of permanent address? I mean, RV scamming its way, in my opinion, across the United States is not a permanent address. I'm just curious. Wow, man, we'd be on a spot just catching the heck out of fish. And one of us would say, let's move. We're catching fish. <laughs> <laughs> There's got to be something better. We were so excited about having a good fishing day. And it's the same thing. You know, you get up here, you found a, you know, you find something really nice, the weather, people. Also, the way you're laughing and doing all these things, I'm sorry. I've just worked in healthcare for so long. And as I said, I know pain is subjective and that's how we are talked about it. So people may not appear in pain and they'll tell you their pain's a 10, but he just does not sound. He's not giving any vocal sort of clues that he's in pain. You usually can hear it in people's voices when they're genuinely in pain. This man's laughing and having a good old time. This is not somebody who sounds like he's in a great deal of pain. I'm sure it hurts from the golf, but I don't think he's at the pain level that he's trying to say he is. Uh, and I'm, I'm, you know, and like I said, we know it has to be subjective and I'm a healthcare provider and I try to show compassion, but I don't have a lot of compassion for people who are using this for their gain. And we're going to take a quick PC at his coffee, his buy me a coffee and see how he has been using it that way. I'm just astounded that people actually follow and want to send this man things. I, it just astounds me. Let's move and see something else. It makes else. me wonder what's happening. But it isn't all bad. You know, I guess they're sure, nice uh, and they can't these believe these places that we've never visited. Uh, we're going to absolutely create some serious memories. I look so forward to Miss T coming. I'm getting excited now. You know, and for a while there, it was going to be another month. And <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> it didn't really hit me. And now, and I know she's excited, you know, to get out of the heat and um, <laughs> to start exploring ideas. Well, it sounds like she's coming into the heat because you've complained continuously about how hot it is out in the desert. Anyway, it doesn't make any sense. 
<coughs> excuse me, in her mind. Hang on, let me take another sip. I'm strangle some more. I want to thank the uh, so subscriber that sent me an email. All of you that are concerned about the cramps I had, I, I haven't, I haven't had any issue the last couple of nights at all. It's just the back now. <laughs> I switched the cramps to a backache, but I had a subscriber send me a. I'll show it to you. No, you're driving. Can this you is not your typical Gatorade. This is Gator Right, or Gator Light, the electrolytes. Oh my. The uh, the meaning there. And no concern. I took a swig of it. On the road this is supposed to be really, room. you know, help you out with the electrolytes so you don't have cramps. <laughs> when you take a swig of it, you know, it's not Gatorade. It's not the palatable. It's palatable, but it's not what you're used to. And I'm not saying it's gross by any shape. It's fine. But you're like, oh wait a minute, this isn't what I was thinking. But that's because it's got the good stuff in it. And I'm sure it's going to really uh, be an awesome drink for when you are out. Have you ever drunk water? Or has everything got to be flavored? You understand that your kidneys, you know, need help with water. That you need to drink some type of water. <laughs> Playing golf all the time or walking and... Oh hiking and whatever just dry or hydrating it just dries you out water now they're not cheap it's three dollars a bottle yeah i bought four bottles and that was the only flavor you know you can buy powdered gatorade don't you that you can add to water that's less expensive have you ever thought or considered that you could actually add gatorade to water then in the little powder packets it's a fraction of the cost it's like five dollars for ten packs it means you get 10 Gatorades for $5. That should be up your street, Tim. It's cheap. Whatever they had, whatever that is, Kiwi or something. Uh, my subscriber friend told me he liked the um, the mm. lime or something, the original. But they didn't have it at Walmart. All they had was that one. And that was the only one. That, make sure you get Gator Light uh, Zero. You, know, you don't want the one with the sugar. They do have other flavors, yes, with the, uh, with the sugar, mm. the regular one. That's probably what he meant. No, no, he told me about zero. That's right. No, he, he recommended the zero, but that's all they had up there. Mm. Oh, that's good coffee. Check this out. Let me show you. No. You talking about? No. Colorado's got Rocky Mountain. Look at that rock. Sorry, I thought he was going to show something else in the car. You guys have got to watch these videos oh, on your TV. Once they get a large screen. Phone. Would you believe it? I'm going to oh, share a story with you. How is Johnny Vegas? Oh. He's, he's a cool guy. He, um, he's got two smart TVs in his condo, him and his wife. And he looks at pretty much everything on his phone. And being a thrifty person, as Ooh, you should idiot. be, he doesn't have home internet in the, con the condo place. They don't provide it either. You have to pay for it. But he realized there's nothing worth watching on TV. Uh, you got free, free channels anyway, plenty of free channels. But he hasn't even really turned his TVs on. He doesn't watch it. Have you been inside of this subscriber's house because i think that's weird and strange i'm sorry it's just this i just you know they don't really know you tim and if they did i don't think i would let you into my home <laughs> he's got better things to do but he does like his youtube and my channel and other channels so i said well hey who do you have for your service he said t-mobile I said, you got the geezer plan? He goes, yeah. I said, well, then you got a hotspot. Turn that hotspot on and turn on that TV that you've never turned on and uh, connect it to the Wi-Fi hotspot, and you can watch YouTube on your TV. Oh, my gosh. I've created a monster. Well, it took us about 10 minutes to get through the tutorial or doing it over the phone, uh, but he got it. He's techie. He got it. And he was like, man, I used to go to bed at 10. Now I'm going to bed at midnight. I'm watching all these YouTube videos, these channels that he likes. So, um, yeah, but please, when you see these videos of these views that I'm showing you guys, I mean, I know a lot of you, you know, use your uh, iPad or your phone, even if you got a big phone, check it out, check YouTube out on your, on your smart TV, put it up on 80 inches, man. Yeah. Live large. Check out that, that's sand hollow. See that, uh, that red sand, that's sand hollow, uh, <laughs> national park with sand. Dude. I, I look shocked because I know he had to fiddle with something and I'm thinking about the other people on the road. That's all. I'm sorry. I get concerned for others. It's just my nature. <laughs>
as a nurse. Oh, my Lord. That's Hurricane. I mean, it's a, it's a hop, skip, and a jump. Uh, it's all downhill, too. Check out this RV park. And by the way, mine this morning was uh, a desert. I mean, it was empty. A lot of people are just, you know, traveling. And uh, we've got the uh, the same units that are probably there for a few weeks or a month, whatever they, they paid. And it looks like this one's the same way. Mm. Lots of vacancies. Look at that. Tons of vacancies. But well, yeah, because it's out in the middle of a dirt patch with no trees. It doesn't look very inviting. <laughs> no wonder it probably has vacancies. That does not look very inviting to me. That looks like a pit stop on the way to somewhere else. But let me tell you something about RV life. It's a hot time of year. Thrown around. Let me tell you about the RV life that I'm, I'm learning. Now, in certain parts of the country, RVs aren't, you know, they don't. you just don't see them as much. And, you know, in Florida, for example, you see a lot of boats. A lot of boats. I mean, they're hanging on trees. And I'm sorry to be surping on my drink. It's just I had just taken my dog out for a walk in the woods. So I'm kind of thirsty and tired. But I needed to make content. So I apologize if I'm I, I'm drinking on the side here. But I'm small down here and I'm in my house and I'm not driving. So I do apologize. Everybody's got a boat. To be rude. Big ones, small ones, mostly big ones. Here out west, Arizona, New Mexico... Utah, all these areas, folks, all those RV centers that you see when you travel sometimes, you know, they don't have them in town. They only have them. You got to go out sometimes. You got you to travel far to buy an RV. But they put these RV dealers where they have acres of RVs because they're selling to people that come from all over the country, you know, to get the right deal and the one they want. Plus, every one of those have to be delivered, driven, or towed. Uh, to these dealers. Now, where I bought mine at Camp Oaks in Dahlonega, Georgia, he is a tiny, I mean, he's big, but he is tiny compared to some of these places, you've seen them, where they have hundreds. So anyway, my point is, you start traveling, you come out west like this, and you have all this BLM land, Bureau of Land Management, free mm -hmm. camping. Or you just have so much space, it's not crowded like big cities, they create these RV parks for travelers, just like truck stops along the freeway. And those guys have that big area in the back every night to sleep in. Oh, that's what I just said. Okay. I, I, who is this information for? It must be for very lonely, vulnerable people who are watching this gentleman thinking that he sounds like their friend talking to him. No, he's not. He's a flim flam scoundrel. Scoundrel is the other word we're going to get into. Sorry, Tim. Continue with your waffling. <laughs> Sorry. I keep hitting the start button. I mean, there's so many truckers that pull into these truck stops that they literally have to stay on the exit ramps hmm. if they don't stop early enough in the day. I'm like, I'm talking like 5, 430. They start filling up. The RV parks are kind of like these cool truckers. Can I get a breaker breaker? Uh, ridiculous. Uh, Tim is coming down the highway. Breaker breaker whatever <laughs> how do i get a message sent to a whole truck drivers across america to watch out for this person <laughs> they're just making their way trekking across the country moving around the west seeing stuff and they have everything they need everything a house with them even if you have just a little a uh, scamp uh bubble a casita or you have <laughs> i can't i can't you know a flagstaff like me or what about one of those 40 foot uh, oh. what do you call uh, fifth wheels? And you got the big dually diesel to pull it with. You know, whatever you're about pulling, being a trucker, Tim, you're out here though, and you're self contained. You're just trying to irritate because blind views. a lot of the places that people are seeing, he's just trying to irritate blind views now. That's all. He He's just irritating people <laughs> at this point. <laughs> oh, he's about to cough in his hand again because it's hygienic, Tim. The spreader of disease, in my opinion. <clears throat> and enjoying for the summer when it's too snowy or cold or whatever. Uh, they There's not hotels just everywhere. And you want to be right in it. So they create and build these RV parks with 50 amp, 30 amp plug, showers, safe cameras, security <laughs> facilities of 
<laughs> everything you need, supplies, like and you can check in like a motel room. It runs you more, way more than it used to. It runs you <laughs> thirty to seventy dollars a night, oh my God. which is absurd in my opinion. Oh. So I always oh, unless you it's, it's somebody else's money and then it's spend away. If it's Miss Tammy's inheritance after, from her deceased husband who he was supposedly friends with but didn't have a problem you know having a relationship with miss tammy while she was still married then you know whatever tim i can't remember what i was gonna say there but waffle on waffle on they oh my gosh <gasps> try to find a weekly or a monthly deal. today but if you're just bouncing around and one thing you got is plenty of money oh, you're out west money, that's right sorry the point of my story is <laughs> that's I'm, right. I'm, I'm driving look you can see Papa, it. that's what I was going to say. He's he he's generous with other people's money and cheap with his own. There we go. My side of my camera here. <laughs> there comes four more. Everybody, look, every it's like semi track tractor trailers in, in Atlanta, driving goods. All I see is people pulling trailers, RVs. That's all I see. Or driving big class A's. They're everywhere out here. So don't think. There goes a a, a casita right there. Don't think that oh, this God, world is. Um, how do I say it without being crude for poor people, gypsies or people that don't want to, they can't afford a house or rent or it's not like that. In fact, I would venture to say that probably 90% of all these ones dragging these beautiful campers and driving these class A's, they have more than just their home at home. They have maybe two homes and this RV. This is money people. That's because these people worked in those prison jobs, Tim, that you have been so divisive about. That's why. They work hard to, to obtain. Some may have inherited money, but that's usually not, that's a very small minority. Most people have worked hard for these and had two partners working hard together in, in unison sometimes. <laughs> he acts like he just discovered something. Shoot, you better start learning, mate. In, in your estimation, you've only got eight more years to live. Oh, my goodness. Just, it's astounding. Just the, 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 the twaddle that comes out of his mouth. This is people, it's just like those boat people in Florida. They go down there and they're like, yeah, what do you got for 300 grand? They got so much disposable cash. Look at the homes they're buying down here. People are living Indian. large. And they get into the RV thing. They don't want a boat. They want an RV. They want to see the country. They like travel. They don't necessarily need to go to Paris uh, or Hawaii or uh, any of these other countries, even taking cruises. Or they do it all. They the mix cruise. it up. But travel is awesome. Now you think about traveling like, oh, the, the Hilton is my kind of camping. Folks, you, you lay down in my camper at night and you think you're in a Hilton. You know, you, you see these Class A's driving around these... $500,000 diesel pushers? Not if you got your gray water backed up and it smells like smeg in there. Absolutely not. Sorry. And, and no, I'm not a fan of hotels either because I'm funky about what pe other people have done in the bed. That's just me. <laughs> I can't even sit on the chairs in a hotel room. I've got to put the towel over it because I don't know what happened in those chairs. <laughs> Stuff. I'm Get on the high horse, buddy. There is... Plenty of luxury RVs. Those fifth wheels, whoo, man, island kitchens and stuff. And look at some YouTube videos. But it's apparently catching on. Oh, I could and with the housing market like it is, a lot of people are full-timing <laughs> and, and traveling the country, living their best life, you know, and not paying rent. They, they put all their money in this. Everybody's doing it differently. But oh. you uh, should not consider only those that are thinking that way. That the RV life is something low. I want to take a sip of this delicious coffee, but I'm afraid this road's going to make it. That would be your perception, Tim, that you're now projecting out to your audience. Because I can promise you, I had very wealthy great aunt and uncle who they had an RV that they used. Uh, I think it was a full on, like with like the type that you actually have, like the the ability to drive the I don't know the big campers. <laughs> Don't get me. I, I'm not familiar with these things, but uh, they had a business that they sold 
where they taught people how to captain their yachts, basically their sailboats. And they used to sail boats up and down from the Bahamas for these very wealthy people in Maryland and Florida and so forth. And they sold that business and they bought themselves a very nice luxury RV and they traveled across the United States and then they retired out in Naples, Florida. But they worked hard their whole life. And my, my great uncle was a fighter pilot in the U.S. Navy. So, you know, he had one of those like prison jobs in the military. He didn't steal people's valor like you do. Spill on me. Mm -hmm. That's good. So I'm loving it. I, my eyes have been open. I didn't even know that many people owned RVs. Everybody's brothers got one out here. <laughs> it's and they don't, they don't even live here. They're just here. Because this is the beautiful place in the United States of America. They probably live in Alabama. I don't know. Florida. California. Who knows? But they're here to see what I'm seeing. Look at this. It's incredible. He is aware it's summertime, which is a popular time of year to travel. <laughs> he is aware, isn't he? Or is he just, uh, well, actually, we're not quite in summertime. I'm sorry. We're in the, you know, summer, you know, officially we're still in spring. It's it, a couple of days it will be in summer on the 21st of June. We'll hit summer solstice, Tim, and uh, longest day of the year. Okay. Just to kind of, help you, you know, orientate yourself to the seasons. Wait till I get down here to St. George. 15, 30, unbelievable, beautiful golf courses. Some of the most top rated courses in the world. Mm, great. Places I'll never play because I can't afford it. Oh, you can spend God, are the you serious? Oh no. I'm sorry, judge. I know you want to retire off the bench, but Tim is on a roll today. <laughs> I simply asked. I said, I wish I could have this dry bagot. Well, I mean, how do you know what that is? Yeah, he's trying to get someone to pay for an expensive golf course, I guess. Okay, Tim. Uh, you know, you, the, your, your subs will, I'm sure, send you coffee for a, a golf trip. Here's here's 25 coffees towards your golf trip. Yeah, I mean, it's their money. They're adults. They can do what, what they please, but. It's hard begging. It's hard dry begging. It's wild. Prim, uh, primo time of the year? Not right now because it's hot. <laughs> Two, three hundred for a game of golf. <laughs> right now, I think the bargain deal is like a hundred, 150 for, the, for just, one of these really nice courses. Like, uh, oh, I didn't even know. And, and I just kind of guessed it out there because <laughs> five times 50 would be 250. And that's what he's talking about price wise. So he's looking for anything from 50 to 60 coffees, guys. So you better rustle up that coffee money, Tim subscribers. Uh, what's it called here in Hurricane? The, uh, uh, oh, oh, what is the name of it? Somewhere here that, uh, ah, I can't think. In Hurricane. Uh, and then, of course, St. George has got, I can't think of the name of it. Whatever. Mm. Beautiful. I'm going there. All right, I'm in Hurricane. Oh, okay, I thought you said they were and, too expensive. Uh, I, I thought you said they were too expensive. Are you already projecting that somebody's going to pay for it for you? Oh, my goodness. His grift across America is so hard at <laughs> this time. <laughs> oh, my. Okay. Well, like I said, they're grown adults, but I'd rather you not take money from vulnerable, lonely, and potentially elderly people. Could we not? Please abuse our elderly in this way. Okay. Keep going, Tim. You are officially exhausting. <laughs> I just drive on down to St. George. They got a Walmart. I'll just keep going and uh, get my hot, icy hot there and see what's going on. Sand Hollow. There's the mm. sign right there. Sand Hollow Golf Course. You can play there for like $150. Mm. That's like a deal. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you can do it cheaper. I'm not going to throw down no 100 whatever dollars i'm not that good but i i thought your back hurt i'm also ignorant to how beautiful it is the people that are recommending this and the reason they're getting that price is because you just don't know until your golf shoes you know hit the turf they're going to notice the moment you walk into any type of pro shop and any nice golf club a nice golf club is members only. These are still 
courses open to the public. So your nicest golf clubs are at a country club. And uh, Tim is a long way from that. But uh, anybody walking into a golf pro shop and hear him with all this, you know, patter going on, uh, are going to know that, you know, that he's he's a scoundrel. And you see and what you're not very playing tidy. on compared to what you've ever played on in your life. You're going to be like, oh, I see it all now. All right, let's put this one up. We finished my coffee. Mm. We'll get a few more miles down the road. What are they building? Oh, it's just a He must have found a hot, hot load of videos because he's bunch of new calling like the Billy News today. <laughs> Turn this AC up. I'm getting stuffed up again. Oh, no. Who cares? Sorry. I need your prayers, folks, for my back. No. Because you don't seem in that much pain. And, uh, I mean, do whatever you want, folks. <laughs> I, no prayers for me, though, Tim. I just pray him for the people on the road that you're driving next to. Those are who my prayers are saved for. <laughs> I really wrenched it. I really crushed it. Ow. No. Oh, and then a performative owl at the end. Okay. Let me just take Tim off my. <laughs> I'm going to stop sharing this one. Oh, my goodness. Okay, guys. Let's just go take a look at his coffee donations. Let me make sure that I, you know. I'm going to, I'm going to redo it just to make sure that, you know, you know, the people had heard, you know, how much the golf course was. Let's just, just keep an eye on how much he's getting. And it's not to bring any hate to the people who donate him coffee. It's their decision. They're, they're full grown adults. But I found this one interesting. Beth says, and Beth bought five coffees. So she sent him $25. Hi, Tim, enjoy a coffee and please use the rest of the dollar to get... Use some Equate brand lidocaine patches at your favorite store. Obviously, we know the Equate brand is Walmart. They will really help your back feel better. Praying for you and love watching your travels, Beth. And, and you know, and then uh, Squimity says, Hi, Beth. Thank you so much. You are a godsend. Mm, religious manipulation. I'm on my way right now to get some from my back. Icy hot is what I've been told to get because Tammy is a registered physician and licensed to practice in the United States or Miss T or whoever he spoke to. However, those patches sound less messy and probably I'll get. Thank you so much. God bless you. Mm, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, you're a very nice lady, Beth. And I know that you were doing it out of the goodness of your heart. And sometimes good people don't know that other people can, you know, can con them because they just don't see that from themselves. So, but you know, I have my thoughts as to what Tim is up to. And then Larry said, I've been wanting to do this for quite some time, but I never remembered to do it. Have a great day, Tim. Crush it. Another tagline that we need to retire. And I promise to use the Amazon link when I order more Gator Light. Oh, great. Tim's going to get some affiliate money from Amazon. Where's your brand deal, Tim? Ha ha. Thank you so much, Larry. You have sponsored me on Gator Light. You're very kind. Thank you so much. I know blessings are coming back your way from your generosity. Crush it. Mm, prosperity preacher, Tim. Aren't you the kindest soul out there? Oh, my goodness. All right, guys. <laughs> I've got to get going. I've got more Tim content to, 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 to produce and I needed to update my, um, stuff, but I'm just going to say, if you like my type of content, all of my members, sorry, I want to thank them first. And I need to add on Kyle who joined me yesterday. Sorry, Kyle. I just haven't had a chance yet because Tim is going wild today, but I hope you understand why I have to get this content out, but I'm going to update that to include your name after this. Um, and then, you know, if you did like my sulky content, <laughs> please subscribe hit the bell unsubscribe to tim and subscribe to me i'm almost at ten thousand billion subs and working my way towards a diamond encrusted platinum ruby uh youtube plate all right guys we'll check you on the next one bye <laughs>